I fight you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck? My god, it's scary out here. It's Zombie and welcome back to Zombieland, my Minecraft 1.19 single player survival. Let's play. You guys, I am excited because we are back at the summer cabin. And I feel like it's been forever since I've been here. And I noticed something when I came out here and looked outside. Um, so it's summertime. Obviously, all the water is a melted, smelted down. Because normally, if we're here in the winter time, um, it's all ice and it's cold and it's Elsa the Ice Queen, right? Um, however, something occurred to me, and I don't know if it occurred to anyone else. Just, just as like a little thought thing right here. But um, other than our little boat right there. Uh, it is increasingly difficult to get around anywhere here. Like literally, if I want to go to our little fisherman's igloo thing over there, I have to take a boat. If I want to get to my nether portal right there, I have to take a boat. If I want to see Rudolph, I have to take a boat. If I want to go to the spider spawner, guess what? I have to take a boat. If I want to see the village, I have to take a boat. <laughs> So it's not very practical to be around here in the summertime because you have to take a boat everywhere. Now, obviously, I can't magic this, you know, lake here into ice. That's that's not that's I, I don't have that ability. I don't know if you know this, but zombies can't control the weather. So I have another solution. Since we can get up here on this little patio rooftop, I had an idea. Since I pretty much can carve out this part of the mountain right there, what if I made a sort of like bridge pathway across this whole area? Like, I can obviously, you know, cut into this and make a path down to Rudolph. And then, past the little like cocoa cup right there, I can make a bridge that goes and goes right over there to there and then make some sort of stairs that comes down to the igloo right there. And then I could put another bridge connection or have a top connection there that goes over to here. And bam slam, we got bridges and we don't gotta worry about water. And then obviously when it's like the winter time, we have the ice that we can use along with the pathways. But this will actually be really nice because I've been meaning to take Rudolph on some sort of adventure, but I haven't been able to because <laughs> it's not winter time. Um, he can't run on water. Like he can fly a little bit, but he like it needs to be winter time for that, and it's just not happening. So I propose that we build some bridges across here. However, I'm very limited on resources, and that's just not going to happen um, by magic. So we need to well find a better axe. This one's kind of bad, but I need to get a good axe. And I'm thinking since I kind of want to have a garden space up here because while I enjoy the fish that we have from our fishing dude over there. I kind of want more food than just fish over here, so I'm gonna start like a little farm. So I was gonna do it up here on top of this mountain anyway, and so I might as well just cut down the trees. Uh, so I think, let's go back inside here. And I'm gonna snatch up my armor because you never go out without your armor, right? A blam shlam, blam 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 blue. Okay, do I have... There it is. There's Chop Chop. Okay, let's take you with me and our sword. And uh, let's go chop down some trees. Oh, well, hello there. This is Zombie. Um, How's it going? Um, I'm doing just great. Replay worked really, really well. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but Replay... The version that I had was like a beta version that I got from the guy's Patreon. It's nothing against him. Maybe I just didn't install it correctly, but the last few times I tried to use Replay, it got a little scurry of a dooey. Um, but because it did that, I had the forethought, maybe I should keep my recording going on my normal screen just in case. And I was able to save. Uh, this speed build a little bit. It's kind of like classic Minecraft speed building where you're like in the normal point of view Watching it as opposed to cool replay. I do like me some replay though because it's really cool So I apologize, but I, I'll figure it out or maybe the full versions released now. I don't know um, But instead of just having this just be full of music 
Excuse me, my cat's running around like crazy. <laughs> Uh, I thought I'd kind of catch up with you guys just a little bit, you know, a little like sneakity beakity thing in the middle of the episode that only the uh, cool people would find. Um, so how's it going? I hope you're surviving. I'm doing pretty okay, I would say. Um, I am just, I I'm trying to be just moving and grooving and get episodes out of Zombieland as frequently as I'm able to. I'm not gonna lie, I have not felt super motivated these last few weeks because it's just, it's freaking hot, you guys. It's freaking hot where I live. And I'm just not motivated to record when it's hot and like my brain turns to mush, so like I can't think either for like video ideas. Even though I already basically have this series planned out, but that's besides the point. Um, I don't know. And I'm also kind of like in a weird state of mind right now that I'm like, I don't really know if people are watching Zombieland or if they care anymore. You know, like it's a series that's almost to like 50 episodes and... I don't know, unless you're like some super cool popular person, people typically don't want to watch something that's more than 10 episodes so and there's also been a small part of me that's kind of been like because i've been watching so many people play in the new white 119 world either in like regular survival or they're playing in hardcore and they get to enjoy all the really cool crazy terrain and pretty things and it's zombie land has its charm like don't don't get me wrong but there's a small part of me that's like man like oh it would be so cool if I could play in like the normal version of 119 and get to enjoy all the things that everyone else is because there's a lot that I typically miss out on in Zombieland unless I travel out really really far or if I load up like a new version of it for like something, right? So I don't know, like what... I'm probably like, I I've had this thought before like, oh what if like, you know... I just say goodbye Zombieland like 1.0 basically and just say bye and I just make like another one. You know, but like at the same time, I don't know. I like I like Zombieland because it has its charm to it, right? So I don't know. It's a lot of thinky thinkity food. Um, I think what I might do to kind of just like satiate that whole thing just because... I don't know, I like the weird cursedness of Zombieland, but I also like playing normal Minecraft that's not, you know, cursed. I think what I might do, and don't quote me because it might be really difficult, <laughs> but I'm thinking I might make a hardcore series. I oh, know, shocking. <laughs> it's something I've never really done before. Uh, but I might, might make a hardcore series for 1.19. And I kind of want to make it almost like a spin the wheel type of aspect. Um, I know I have that as like a, a previous like sub goal or something like that. And I kind of just took those off just because I was like, eh, I'm not trying to like pressure anyone to do anything. But I kind of like the idea of like a spin the wheel type thing. So I think I'm going to do a hardcore series in normal 1.19 that isn't cursed like Zombie Land spin the wheels, so people get to decide some crazy things that go on, and um, see what we come up with. It'd be really cool if, you know, I got at least 10 episodes of that, because hardcore is kind of difficult if we, <laughs> we know what I'm talking about playing, right? It's a little bit crazy. So, I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I'm always up for a challenge. So, I say we give it a go. Alright? Alright. And... We'll kind of just keep zombie land just for the funsies and I think just because I, I don't know I feel like I pressure myself because I'm trying to make it very like fun and do things that I enjoy in it um, and explore 119 as best as I can um, but I'm also trying to make it a little bit story based you know and I don't know if this is the magic because I say it but you know we're in a special section right here not many people get to hear this um, so Zombieland is its own special thing. So that will be 
maybe occasional. I, I would like to have some sort of schedule, like maybe... I honestly want to be able to post like twice a week, so maybe once a week will be Zombieland, and the other one will be... <laughs> I just look at my window and my cat's still sticking out of the blinds, it's funny. I wish you could see that. Um, the other video will be uh, the hardcore, okay? So I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that, alright? Let me know what you think, okay? Um, if you're still listening and watching this video at this point, um, leave me a mushroom emoji down below, okay? Because I had a group of you that I hung out with in the comments for a few months now, and then I don't know what happened. I think people just like, kind of got busy and stuff, and to be as real as I did too, but I would like to hang out with people in the comments again, so let's hang out and have fun, okay? Okay, so, um, yeah, this is, this is my bridge build. I hope that you enjoyed as chaotic as I am. Let you know that I'm gonna try to learn replay just a little bit better because and maybe on a fuller version of it, not the beta version. Because this is literally what you're seeing here is just like maybe one third of the bridge being built, and then replay crashed my game, and so I didn't have anything to recover from it, so that was great. But um, stuff happens anyway, so. That's our little touch base thing. Hope you've been well. And uh, I'll catch you in the rest of the episode, okay? Take care of yourself. Appreciate yourself. Love on yourself, okay? You got a bright, beautiful future. Don't let anybody tell you who they think you are. You're special, okay? I love ya. I'll see you soon, okay? And back into the episode. Okay, so... I'm not really sure why, but replay cut off about halfway through me building this bridge, so I hope whatever I managed to capture you enjoyed watching. Uh, but I want to do some finishing touches actually on the bridge here. I decided just for like aesthetic purposes, but also practical purposes, that at every middle point I want to put a bit of water so that it looks pretty when you're underneath it. But it's also practical because then you're able to actually get back up onto the bridge in case for some reason you want to get on because you fell off or you're you're swimming underneath here and you're like i would like to suddenly come up i don't know okay anyway i just realized you can't actually come up if there is a middle piece here so let's destroy these and then i will show you oh shoot i didn't realize i was right there um let's put you there both sides Okay, let's get on top of this guy's house just for crazy effect. Ba -ba -da -da. That is our bridge! What do we think? <laughs> I realize it's not the most glorious looking bridge, but it's just whatever I could come up with in my brain. Um, I really wanted to add these round pieces here just because they're pretty. However, I realized after I did the second ones that I wanted spacing, so it's not entirely uniform all the way across, which is why I messed up on the numbers. But I think it still looks pretty good. Um, I like that we have from our balcony here kind of a direct path so you can take up and down and go over here and hit over here and then come down over here. I think it's very, very good. Um, but that whole bridge building process uh, actually exhausted me <laughs> so now I'm not so sure if I want to build a bridge over there I'm, I'm kind of quite tired I think what I'm gonna do is just extend my dock and make it go over to the nether area um, and just be a little bit lazy that way I might off camera I might make another bridge that goes right behind my head right here so that we have like a tiny bridge to get across because I do want to do something with that area where all the pigs and sheep and chickens are at so I want to do something a little bit there um, but for now we're going to take a little bit of break from building because I just remembered from almost being killed by a bunch of drowned and phantoms building this bridge that we have something very important that we have to do so if you all remember we had a little bit of a run-in with the warden that wasn't very lovely um, when I happened to put on some cursed armor and light a black candle and he decided to pay us a visit and by visit I mean uh, 
he killed me. <laughs> um, but because I'm magical already, I came back, of course. But because of that, we do have to add to our little death garden right here, which is very lovely. And, you know, we had a pretty good record going on for us because, well, <laughs> we haven't had a death since last year. Isn't that strange? It seems like a weird thing to say. So we need to add our death by Warden over here. There we go. And there we go. So officially in Zombieland, uh, we have died four times. <laughs> um, I, I guess, technically speaking, it's probably been more than four times because of this one. Because it was quite a menace to get our trident from these guys. So quite, quite a few deaths from there. But, you know, not too crazy from that. Um, but so far, we have four types of deaths. We have our very first here, which is... December 8th of last year, Death by Vex, and then at least, I want to say, three deaths by Trident Drowned on December 15th of 2021, and then December 25th, Death by Piglin Brute. And then if you didn't think that could get any worse, we have June 11th, 2022, Death by Warden. I did get the idea because I did pick some flowers when I was digging the ground out there that maybe we should put some flowers down by our, our deaths, you know, mourn ourselves just a little bit, as, as morbid as that sounds. <laughs> but flowers made me think of something really rather pretty uh, that we can actually add to our glorious bridge right here. I'm thinking there is a lush cave that is actually fairly close to us. I want to go to it and collect some of those beautiful swore flowers and some of the glowberries, and I want to add those to the bridge to kind of make it like a, a foresty looking bridge. So it's not just like you're staring at a bunch of spruce wood, it's spruce wood plus foliage, if you catch my drift. So I will see you at the Lush Cave. Funny story about the Lush Cave. I found it actually nearby because I found this kind of little hole here that's actually right by our little uh waterway to the village and i was like hmm, well this is interesting i forgot this was here and then i explored it just a little bit further you just kind of keep smacking your head as you go down I'll, I'll probably make it neater at some point but you go all the way down and i dug to like all the zombie noises i could hear and found this cave which was useless and then i heard skeletons and dug down even further and i found De Lush Cave. <laughs> it's crazy how close this was. And we have these guys right next to us. I'm excited. I'm going to steal some. Oh, there's a skeleton I heard. Hey, what's up, bud? Die. E die. E die. E die. Got him. <laughs> when you miss all your shots. <laughs> uh, chaos. Chaos indeed. Okay, well, let's see. If I'm gonna take all the glowberries, I kind of need to put down some torches, you know? Um, also, having this nearby is really, really good because that means uh, maybe uh, we get ourselves some cute axolotl friends, you know? Because currently we only have them um, in the swamp, and I would like to have more of them because they're adorable. So if we find any, maybe, maybe we'll take a friend, you know? Uh, but for now, I just want to get... Pretty much as much glowberries as I can find. Ooh, and these guys. Um, I need some blocks. Thank you. I forget, do you need silk touch to get these or can you get these with just shears? Am I gonna break it? Oh! Oh, it's fine, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, did I just kill it? Oh my god. I hope not. Ooh, there's tough down here too. <gasps> noise. Very, very noise. Very, very nice. Um, I kind of in general just found this place because I was trying to see if I could find more. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Sh oh, no, 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 no. No more zombie bites. No more. Ah, hee hee. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> um, oh my god. We found. Okay, wait, hold up. I, I need to process what's going on. Okay, you're a yellow one, which is adorable. I don't think I've seen a yellow one yet. And we have. I think you're a white one. What What are, what are you? Another. Oh my god, there's three. There's two white ones and there's a pink one. Oh my god, they're so cute. I want them all, but I only have one bucket. Um, I think I'm going to opt for the yellow one. Just because the yellow one's kind of cuter in my opinion. No offense. 
He's a cutie. Okay. Give me a name for our yellow friend because I love him and um, he deserves a good name. Okay, okay. You are adorable. Um, I am going to... Oh, hello, fish. I'm going to go back up here and put a few more torches around like so. And I am going to collect some more flowers and some more glow berries. If I do it like here, does it get... Perfect. Okay. Just to make it a little bit easier. Oh my god, it's like fish Armageddon right here. Why are there so many fish? Where did you all come from? Hello? They come over up here? What's up here? Is there like a fish pole up here or something? Ah, I'm good. Okay. That, that was rude. Hey. You're rude. Ow. You're rude. Gross. I just wanted to see where the fish were coming from. Because they're kind of just all hanging out right here. It's kind of strange, you know? Let's go up here, maybe. Maybe it's up here. Get a fish up here. Hello? Oh, is this the gap? Is this the little gap? Ah! What the heck? Oh my god! I told you I heard skeletons down here. Y'all are rude. Yeah, you better fight each other. Here, excuse me a second. No, 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 fight your friend. Fight your friend. Fight your- yes. Fight him, Steve, not me. Come on. Come on. Okay, now I fight you. I fight you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, it's scary out here. Kind of think I want to get on out of here. Um, except I don't remember where I came from. <laughs> um, over here. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's get the heck out of here before things eat me. Um, I'm done. I, I would like to leave. It is scary. I am over it. We are done. I would very much like to get back to the surface and plant my things. Thank you very much. This is cute. This bridge is looking very, very cute. So eventually, look, they're already growing. Okay, so eventually the glowberries are all gonna grow all the way down and I can keep picking them up so I can put more because I want it basically to be like coated with just them. So it's gonna be really, really cute. Um, I think I'm gonna try to find maybe two or three more of the spore blossoms to plant them underneath just so we have that kind of constant like bit of spores kind of floating around because it just looks cute. Um, but otherwise I think the bridge design is kind of basically a done. I think it's adorable. Um, and so yeah, I think that is going to do it today uh, blue blue, uh, for this episode of Zombieland. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you next time. Um, before the next episode, I will build another bridge here and maybe one over there if I'm not being too lazy. <laughs> um, and hopefully we'll have all the glowberries uh, growing and going. So thank you all so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed. If you're brand new, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, I appreciate you. And as always, I welcome you to say your favorite part of the episode down below in the comments or make any suggestions, um, especially for blah, 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 um, our little friend right here. Please give me a name. He needs a name. Or she. I don't know. It could be whatever. But give us a name for our yellow little Baba Daboo. Okay? And I'll see you uh, next time. Bye! I never miss that stack. Taking big swings. Jam to the back. Put me in the ring. You'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean. And I bring it to the mad life. Ain't got time to kill. I got time to fail. I took a red pill. I know life's short. So I wanna live real. But how is it supposed to feel?